Hello, welcome back to another video. It's very windy here, but we've got blue skies. The sun is shining. And today I'm gonna do a cheapest versus most expensive supermarket shop. So we're gonna go to Aldi first, which is the cheapest supermarket in the UK, um, according to which. And then we're also gonna go to Waitrose, which is the most expensive. So we're gonna compare and look how close they are. <laughs> the competitors, cheapest, most expensive, literally next door neighbors. So let's go into Waitrose first, and I'm gonna get 10 items, the same items I'm gonna get from Aldi, and I'm I'm gonna compare the prices. So we are back, I've got my 10 items. I actually went in for the food that I actually buy. I didn't wanna just get food just for a YouTube content video. So this is like my groceries that I actually buy and eat. Um, so it won't go to waste, none of it. Also, just to say, I went in for 10 items, cornflakes, two pint milk, a bag of four potatoes, some egg noodles, six salad tomatoes, a cucumber, some baked beans, a block of the Red Fox Red Leicester, some pasta and some chicken breasts. I wanted the frozen chicken breasts breaded. Um, I go to Waitrose specifically for the British chicken breast steaks. They're really tasty. I went to Waitrose first. So I picked up a four pack of those and I couldn't get a four pack that would match like for like at Aldi. Aldi don't do them in the freezer section. The only thing closest I could find was some chicken burgers, like breaded chicken burgers at Aldi. And they only had a two pack, whereas I brought a four pack at Waitrose. So what I'm going to do, because if I was going shopping and I needed four chicken breasts at Aldi from the freezer section, I would have to buy two packets. So I'm just doubling the price of that to make it fair. And also, in the interest of fair, there's a bag of pasta here. Aldi were totally out of pasta, believe it or not. They had spaghetti and tagliatelle, so I couldn't get any, like, fusely pasta at Aldi. So I took a screenshot off their website, so it will tell you the cost of pasta, and we can price compare it to the bag I bought at Waitrose. That is everything to say. And lastly, this is a bit of fun. I've wanted to do this for ages. I like both shops. I've got nothing negative to say about either shop. So I love shopping at Waitrose and I love shopping at Aldi. Um, I've shopped at both for many years. So it's just a bit of fun and I thought it would make a good video. So let's um, get cracking and I'll share with you the prices of each item and which supermarket for my food shop comes out on top. First up, we have got a battle of the egg noodles. £1.19, £1.10. Waitrose is cheaper for egg noodles, but Aldi egg noodles are more weight. 410 gram, this size is 275 gram. So in terms of price point, Aldi works out a bit more expensive here, but you get more for your money at Aldi than you do Waitrose. But we're going off price point today. So in terms of price point, they don't sell bigger bags of noodles at Waitrose like Aldi. This is just all they have. So in terms of getting a bag of noodles from Waitrose or Aldi, then Waitrose is cheaper, controversially. Next up, we've got six salad tomatoes, Aldi's and Waitrose, both 85p. So they draw on price, but Aldi's is absolutely humongous compared to Waitrose. They're a lot thicker. They're almost double in size and for the same price. So in terms of a six pack of salad tomatoes, both 85p, but you get more for your money at Aldi than you do at Waitrose. Next up, we've got cucumber. This is Aldi's cucumber at 79p. Pretty much exactly the same. This is Waitrose cucumber at 85p. So this one's slightly longer, but I feel like this one's a bit thicker. So in terms of comparing, I think pretty much they're exactly the same and they're 6p cheaper at Aldi than they are buying it at Waitrose. Next up, we have the battle of the beans. We have got the Bramwell's baked beans in a rich tomato sauce. They are 410 grams. And we have the essential Waitrose baked beans in tomato sauce. They are 400 grams. The Waitrose baked beans are 55p. And the Aldi baked beans are 47p. So in terms of price and weight, Aldi is five six seven eight eight p cheaper not good at maths <laughs> eight p cheaper and you get more in weight for your cost of a tin of beans 
In terms of the price of milk, I went for a two pint green top semi skinned milk and it is £1.25 at Aldi for two pints. It is £1.30 at Waitrose for two pints. I just want to point out Waitrose have it's part of their brand, it's part of their ethos. They do a fair price for farmers. So I always I never would moan or feel like it's too expensive to get your milk from Waitrose because I know that in terms of their farming community, the people that supply their products, they're really looked after. But it's £1.30 for milk at Waitrose and it's £1.25 for milk at Aldi. Next up, we've got Aldi's Red Fox Red Leicester Cheese and we've got Waitrose Balton Farm Red Fox Red Leicester Cheese. It's £2.50 for a block of this at Waitrose currently and it's £2.49 for a block of this at Aldi. So the same block of cheese, it's a penny cheaper at Aldi. Um, I think that's a fair price on both parts. So with bacon potatoes, I got four potatoes in each bag. They are 75p at Waitrose for four very large potatoes. At Aldi, they're slightly smaller in size to hold, but they are cheaper at 67p. So there's a 8p difference here. Um, but I will say with Waitrose, they're bigger in size. So in terms of price point, they are cheaper at Aldi, but you do get a heavy weight here for 75p at Waitrose. With their pasta, just imagine a bag of pasta from Aldi here, 79p for 500 gram of pasta that is similar branding to this one. So not the very, very cheap pasta because I didn't pick that up at Waitrose, but the Aldi brand pasta, 79p for 500 gram. And then the Waitrose is for 500 gram, £1.50. So a bit of a difference here. We're talking 71p difference for some pasta. Next up, we've got these frozen chicken breast steaks or burgers, just the breaded chicken frozen. So for four of these, are two, they're £2.50 at Waitrose for four British chicken breast steaks breaded. At Aldi, I only managed to get two. They were £1.85, so £3.70 for four if I had to buy four chicken breasts tomorrow at Aldi you know, versus four chicken breasts tomorrow at Waitrose. So 370 for four and £2.50 for four from Waitrose. So in this in this instance, Waitrose is cheaper to buy four chicken breast steaks breaded in the freezer section. And lastly, the last battle of the day is cornflakes. Aldi's Harvest Morn cornflakes are 67p a box and Waitrose cornflakes are a pound. So you can get cornflakes and Waitrose for a pound or 67p at Aldi. Obviously, Aldi is cheaper. So, so adding all of these items up, the Waitrose total was £13.5p and the Aldi's total was £12.70. But that has doubled the price of these chicken burgers like the quarter pounders so 12 pound and 70 13 pound and 5p so it is cheaper to get your shopping at Aldi than it is Waitrose but I will say on most things some things were like priced you know a penny difference but on most things they're only five or six p out I know every penny counts especially in this time it's horrible right now um, but I was shocked at just how little difference some items were some things like the cereal was huge a huge price difference and then when you get branded stuff obviously it works out a lot more expensive anyway but the essential range I feel like at Waitrose is really good value for money like a pound for a box of cornflakes that is really good but as, this, as the video stands it is cheaper to get most of these items from Aldi anyway I hope that you enjoyed I really wanted to do this and I'm glad that I have maybe I'll do another one soon but choose different products and maybe I'll go to Aldi first or maybe I'll go Lidl and Asda or something and I'll do like two different supermarkets but I hope that you enjoyed it because I've wanted to do this for ages I'm always really nosy when I go to like supermarkets I'm always looking at the prices I'm always comparing in my head where I can get different products from for cheaper I'm always watching what I'm spending um 
and yeah I was just really interested because I do shop at Waitrose I always go back to Waitrose for these because I think they're a good price I've always got these in the freezer just really simple to add to like wraps and stuff um and I was just really intrigued today I wanted to do it I'm glad I have I hope that you found it interesting and enjoyed watching thank you if you did stay all the way to the end I'm about to film an actual grocery haul <laughs> believe it or not some of this will be for me for the week but things like this will last for weeks and weeks and like freezer stuff will just last in the freezer so I actually went proper grocery shopping just over there at Aldi um, and I'm going to film that next so anyway thanks for watching I hope that you enjoyed it take care enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you on the next video bye